Hi, in this video we will see how to use a Google Sheets template to later create uh, this dashboard of incident reports. To download the template, create a new card, go to the example section, select the incident report dashboard and it will load one like this. And the first link is uh, to import the incident report from Google Sheets, just click on it, it will op open a preview and at the top right there is going to be a button called use template. Click it, you have to be logged in on, on with your Google account and it will load in your session and it will recommend you to install the Google Sheets add-on if this doesn't appear, you can go to add-ons, manage add-ons, uh, search for Instadec and uh, install it from there. I will add it now from the dialog that appears on the right. So now I will click install and uh, it's going to ask me for permissions. I will select the account I'm using and allow the permissions. It needs to be able to read the content of the Google Spreadsheet to convert it and to send data to uh, our servers. So those are the permissions that it's asking. Now, uh, once you have it installed, you can go to the add-on section and the first thing you should do is go to settings. And on InstaDeck, go to the admin section in hooks click add give uh, a channel for for this uh, for this uh, spreadsheet i will call it incident reports and i can give it a description to remember uh, what it's used for uh, select ok and it will create a unique uh, link that you can copy by uh, double clicking and uh, selecting copy or control C or by clicking the copy uh, button over here. Then go to settings and paste uh, that URL there and click OK. The next step to, to check that it worked and uh, copy the name of the channel. This one is the one uh, it's used on this example, it's in reports. So I can, for example, now clear here Go to Add-ons, Instax Spreadsheet, click Send, and it will load the new one. So if you are using it for something else, what you have to do is uh, create a spreadsheet card and make sure that it is persistent and paste the name of the channel. You can use the default if you want. And uh, since it's persistent, it will already load if there was some data on the channel. And uh, if not, you have to send it uh, so that it's stored and it loads next time. For this one, make sure that promote roads to headers uh, is selected. Otherwise it will give uh, generic column names. So I will send it again. And now the columns uh, will be the first row of the spreadsheet. With this, uh, you can start working on uh, this template, which if you use uh, that channel name in the hook, it will populate like this. And you can try it, uh, publish it by clicking the top right uh, more actions uh, button, and selecting share, giving it some configuration and selecting the shared button. I already have a share here, so I will click to open and it will look something like this. In the next video, I will explain how to build it uh, step by step and the result will be pretty similar to this. So check the next video to see detailed instructions on how to build it. Bye.